Anyway, welcome to Dodgers Trips' very first live stream. Um, and the reason that I've put this live stream together today is because of a video that I made on the 1st of January this year. At that point, I had just a little, about 407 subscribers, um, and I was thanking people for following me the previous year. And I did say that if we get to 500 subscribers, then I would think about doing a live stream. Anyway, today we hit 550 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. And I really can't believe that there's that many people subscribed, but I want to thank each and everybody who, who has subscribed and who follows my videos. Uh, thank you so much uh, for, for, for watching and subscribing. Now, I don't think, I'm not sure if there's anybody here or not. I mean, my son can hear me and see me. <laughs> but this is a bit totally out of my comfort zone. I've, I find, you know, holding a one minute conversation a problem. So putting myself out here doing this is just totally bonkers, really. Um, a bit like the, a bit like doing the videos, you just, it's it's so hard to get get started to press record, but after about five minutes or so, I, I tend to re relax and and I'm and I'm okay. So hopefully, if uh, if this keeps going for five minutes, you you might see me fare a little bit better. What I, what I wanted to to tell you a little bit about is uh, some of the upcoming you know, plans that I've got for, for making videos, uh, but not without giving too much detail away. Uh, me and John were hoping to do a a, a trip uh, onto the continent next, uh, this year, sometime this year, um, and we're going to be going to France. Uh, now, I won't, I won't give too much away except to say that we're going to, to Normandy, um, but it won't all be D-Day beaches. There's going to be some surprises along the way. Now, I've just been to Scotland, and I've actually just been finishing the fourth video at that Seek series uh, this afternoon, and they'll start to come on the channel in June. Now, when me and John go uh, to, to Normandy this year, there's going to be a link between my Scotland trip and Kirk Douglas. So that's a little bit of uh, information that I'm going to give you. Uh, but I won't give any more away to that. It'll just be a surprise when we when we do the film. Also, what, what we've got coming up in my local area, because I do films, you know, in Wyke, where I live in Bradford, um, coming up next weekend, week tomorrow, uh, we've got a 1940s weekend, which has been going up, uh, which is running Brighouse now for, for, well, for at least 10 years, and it's a really big do. So I'm going to be taking my camera along uh, one of the days, one of the weekends, it's on a Saturday and a Sunday, and we'll... Uh, We'll, we'll we'll film some of that for you as well. Uh, so that is just jam packed with history. Uh, so hopefully you, you'll enjoy that content too. Uh, if there's anything you want to ask me about what I do, or you know, upcoming plans, or suggestions, even uh, I would really love to hear from you. You may know that I always respond to every comment that's posted on on their youtube i always read and i always acknowledge and reply back if you take the trouble to to you know post a comment be it good or bad but i'm always happy to hear from from as many people you know as possible well 
Right, okay. So I've just had a question. What's the most interesting place that I've visited abroad and at home? Now, I started the Dodgers Trips channel basically as a way of putting up old VHS uh, holiday tapes for my family to be able to see. Uh, also did a few walks because I like to, to go for walks and, and I was putting those up. I've only actually started the vlogging, talking to camera, since September last year. So, well, I'm still only six months, really, what, six, seven months into, into doing this. So I think I'm improving. Obviously, I can be a lot better. Um, but some of those old VHS holiday tapes... They are on Dodgers trips for you to look at, and, and, and some of them are actually the most popular or the most viewed uh, films on the channel. There's one in particular uh, from when I went to Berlin in 1990, which was just nine or ten months after the Berlin Wall had, had um, fallen, broken, uh, and, and the border between East and West Germany was just got rid of. So I went there, a very interesting time in history. <clears throat> the Russians were still stationed in East Berlin and there was still the East, Ber East Berlin, you know, full reunification hadn't taken place yet. So it was an interesting time. And I've always been interested in World War II and the battle for Berlin in 1945 and Hitler in his bunker. It had always been a fascinating aspect of that. In fact, a lot of my interests are to do with people like in in the la in the last days uh, and and how people behave when there is no escape or uh, you know any way out um so yeah hitler and his and his bunker and all all that through uh trying to make their escape from the bunker through through sort of the russian lines etc uh, so it was good to get to the location of those places uh, that i'd been reading about for years so that was probably the most interesting place because of the time that i went on on that visit to berlin i worked for an holiday company at the time and they ran, had a coach firm coach europe so i was able to get a coach to berlin um which continued on to Poland and then came back the following day, picked it up and just... So I was only in Berlin for li literally just a little over 24 hours and I managed to cram a lot in. So you could see that video, Berlin 1990, if World War II history uh, interests you. That is the most popular video on, on the channel. Another place that I went, and it was fulfilling a dream really, was when I went to America... Um, I was lucky to go twice, 1993 and 1996. So the first occasion I went with with my dad and we did a lot of things in, in out in the West, Montana, Wyoming, South and North Dakota. But I was very much into sort of Austria and the cavalry and the Indian Wars and all that sort of thing. So I was, I was fortunate that I got to the little big on battlefield scene of Custer's last stand. So again, there's that uh, parallel with sort of Hitler in his bunker and Custer on his last stand hill. Yeah, so, so John again is asking, would I ever think of visiting Greece for the scene of the 300, of the 300 Spartans and their, their sort of last stand? I've seen some videos of of the of the place, and it would be interesting to to go to the actual battlefield. Um, obviously, there's been various films made about that. You know, the the three hundred Spartans and the, the standing up to was it King Darius. Um, I'm trying to think now, where, 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 who were who were they actually fighting? Was it were it the Greeks? Well, I think the the sort of the, the the main battlefield does does still you know is still still standing there and uh, it, it's just like a 
an open space, which a lot of battlefields are. A lot of battlefields, there's not a lot there. They're often just fields or something. Now, little big on that was that was good because they have markers uh, like headstones where all the sort of Seventh Cavalry. Uh, were when the bodies were found. So when you see these headstones, although they're not actual graves, it does give you kind of a a visual of, of you know how the battle progressed and where people bodies were were found afterwards. So yeah, so going to see three hundred Spartans, yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? I mean, I've never even thought about that, but yeah. That, yeah. I could yeah, I could have seen myself going there. I'd read up about it again and watch the, the films, of course. But yeah, that would be good to go stand on the same ground. Uh, so yeah, good idea. Often when I'm watching films, you know, uh, I was watching the John Wayne film the other day, uh, the the Quiet Man filmed in Ireland, <clears throat> and he had like a cottage there with Maureen O'Hara and big fight through the village uh, and you can actually you know that village does exist where they filmed and the bar that they were you know that they filmed in and the and what remains of the cottage so you know i see things and it gets me imagination so yeah i, I could see myself quite easily going there i mentioned it to my wife but she <laughs> you know Oh, whether whether that'll happen or not, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, to to answer the, back to the question from about ten minutes ago, what's the most interesting place that you've visited abroad? So Berlin, because of it was the, that time, it that particular time in history, um, being around history as it was happening, as well as the the, re, the more recent history from World War Two and. The little big on battlefield because it fulfilled a lifetime dream to go there. Um, most interesting place in the UK. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, uh, somewhere I went with my son some years ago was to to Portsmouth. Uh, Excuse me, and to visit the historic dockyard with HMS Victory. So I'd always been interested in in Nelson and the Battle of Trafalgar, and that kind of thing, because I had an interest in in the war, Waterloo and the Napoleonic Wars. So to go, to go there and and see the quarter deck where where Nelson was was shot, and and also below decks where where he died, that that was interesting. So. Until I can think of something else, I'd probably say that's the most interesting place that I've been in the UK. I mean, the the trip that I've just made to to, to Scotland that that was for a, a very peculiar reason as well. Uh, it was just on a whim, and uh, it was booked, and I was off within a couple of weeks. Uh, but you'll see more of that as the films come out in in June. Obviously, I've been putting a lot of films from India on uh, for what, about two or three months now, so I'm starting to, you know, sit and get get try and break it up a little bit more. There is still some more India stuff to come on, uh, in fact, including my first time on a motorbike, which is like a bit mad. Um, but I'm going to break it up with you know some more more stuff from 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 home and and, and trips other than the India. Well, I'm, I mean, it's, I mean, it's good of you. If you if you do start watching this or you watch it after after the event, uh, as I say. <laughs> oh, hello, Abdul. Abdul's just joined us. Glad, glad you could come along, Abdul. Thanks very much for... For for coming into the into the, the the live stream, I've been saying this is the first time that I've that I've done one of these, so I'm not, you know, that that tracking with with technology and this kind of thing. So whether this will be a one off or whether you know I'll continue to do other ones in the future, I'll just wait and see if there's any feedback or not. Um, I've been saying that the the reason for doing this today is because. 
have hit 500 subscribers and i did say at the beginning of the year if we got to 500 i would think of doing this live stream so i've i've been thanking people who've uh, been uh, subscribed to me my videos and and i really do appreciate every single view that 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 i get on the channel it, it is appreciated beyond words yeah abdul where whereabouts in in india are you from then <laughs> excuse me sorry so you're saying that we you know we started off in delhi went to pushka uh down to jaipur and then across to agra back to delhi and we're currently on the well the channel's videos were, were in varanasi varanasi was the the place that i enjoyed most uh out of all the, the you know the cities that we went to really is a special place yeah it's, you know th thank you for you know for for thanking me for visiting your country there were so many people that we met on our trip to india who were just coming up to us in the street and just saying you know thank you for visiting india and we we was we appreciated that so much it made us felt feel at home in your your beautiful country um so you're from from patna where whereabouts in the in the country is that it's not a place i've heard of you get close to anywhere we went because after varanasi we uh we traveled back to delhi uh just for an overnight stay and then we headed up to amaritsa and from there back to Delhi and, and our flight home. So Amaritsa was sort of our last holiday uh, place uh, of our three weeks stay in India. I also mention anybody, you know, watching this on catch up, I've got a Facebook group. Um, so, you, you know, think think about uh, joining me on Dodgers Trips on Facebook because there's, there's a lot of extra content on there and you'll, you'll see clips uh, that don't always get onto YouTube and, and clips before they're shown on YouTube as well. So, uh, right, Panna, so very far from Delhi, around 13 to maybe 18 hours away. Is that is that by road, I guess? Is is it north south of Delhi? Yes, oh, by car, right? Yeah, yeah. We we enjoyed traveling around India by car, east east of east of Delhi, East India, right? Okay, so yeah, more towards the the coast. Is it? Is it sort of towards? Let me let me think. Let me get up a map of India. Uh, I'm not sure if I can do that without cutting myself off, so I won't, won't risk it too much. Uh, so east is it heading heading towards the the east coast then? If you know, maybe by her. Let, let me just see if I can get a map and see the, see these places, and then I, then I'll have an idea of uh, where you are. If I if I cut, cut off, I'll be back in a sec. Right, Abdul. Yeah. Um, so I've just I've just seen seen uh, Patna on a map. I see Bihar. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. That that is the state, isn't it? That Patna is in. Um, and to to your north is Nepal, and to the east Bangladesh. So I'm guessing you you probably uh, not. Not too far from from the Himalayas, then is that correct? And, and is that a beautiful part of India as well, in Patna and Bihar?
Do you get to travel around India yourself uh, very much with work? Or... Yeah, you see, yeah, Abdul's just saying, yeah, very beautiful home and, you know, I love my country. Uh, and that was something that really st stood out for us, how, how patriotic Indians were, uh, proud of the country. And everybody, you know, regardless, you know, of, of you know, whether they were rich or, or poorer, um, people had this, this love of, of, of their own country, which, we, we, you know, we, we really thought was, was great. Uh, in UK, I mean, I, lo I love the UK. UK is a, a great place. Um, but I don't think you get that great sense of patriotism uh, or bond with, with the country as, as maybe we were found in India. Uh, UK is a great country. I mean, I love, I love the weather. <laughs> I love the weather in the UK. People, can, Some people can't stand it, but, you know... Why I was say if you, if you don't like the weather today, then you know wait a few days and it become something completely different. I like the variety of weather, I think, which helps to make the country what it is. Uh, now in India, you you know we we found we travelled during your winter time, which was you know temperatures were were perfect for us. Really, it was it was a you know to get in the twenty degrees Celsius was was, was lovely. Because uh, back home, we, you know, it was sort of zero degrees, and we came away from snow and rain. So to see the sunshine, we we really enjoyed. But I guess you know, coming to the end of May now, uh, it is yeah, it is amazing how you know different people live uh, across the world. People have different ways of doing it, but when it comes down to it, we are all the same. Um, it's yeah, it's, it's it's that's the common denominator, and it we're we're all human, and uh, people are you know, people are, you know very much you know into into the the families where wherever they live, they have that you know the family bonds and 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 everything that's important to people in one country is is usually you know just as important to somebody else in in another country in a different way of life, um, family. In it, family, and the the the, the family of human old, human existence. <laughs> get, get old Brian Cox here, and you. Uh, yeah, we're all all human, and uh, do good things. That's right, Abdul. Yeah, yeah. Well, you never know. One day you might get to the UK with your family. Do you have any family in the UK yourself? Always many years ago, but no more. Oh, right. Oh, well, never mind, Abdul. You might, you know, you might still get there if it's something that you want to do, if you fancy doing that. Um, I mean, we, we would love to come back to India as well at, at some point. Uh, I would like to go up, uh, up towards sort of Rishikesh, up to the foothills of the Himalayas, um, but I also like to go to Kerala. Because I've heard that's really beautiful down there, the, the waterways uh, and the houseboats. Maybe spend some time on the houseboat, and also Sandra would fancy Goa as well for the beaches. So yeah, I mean India is such a huge country. It's a bit like USA, and what one one area is uh, very much different to another area because of the vastness of the place, completely different climates. So Abdul saying, "Oh, Manchester is where he wants to visit. Manchester United, big football team, <laughs> the very, the very best." Well, I'm not into me football particularly, but uh, yeah, Man United, yeah, massive outlet, uh, probably the, the largest club on the planet, I would guess. For you know, for having fans all around the world. Um, I've been to Manchester United football ground, but I've not actually been in it. Been in the sh in the, the shop there, 
um, and the statue outside of Sir Matt Busby. <clears throat> so I think Manchester United, I think the, uh, the the won the other night, and so that means that they qualify for Europe, do they, next year, the Champions League. Oh, Barcelona as well, a very good team. Messi and Ronaldo, very best players. Right, well, obviously, you know, I'm not a huge football fan, but everyone knows Messi, don't everyone knows Ronaldo. Uh, two players coming to the back end of their careers. But, uh, yeah, the, it'll be a lot of years before this, there's uh, anybody as good as them, I think, to take their place. Yeah, we flew from Manchester Airport to 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 go to India. So uh, Manchester Airport is like the largest uh, airport for international flights uh, near to where I live. Well, you never know. You know, Abdul, you might get to Barcelona. You might get to Manchester one day. I wonder if do you play do you play football? Is fo football that big in uh, India or is it all just cricket? Is it mainly cricket? <laughs> oh, oh right, play yeah, play with your son. Yeah, sometimes cricket is our nation's sport. Yeah, yeah, well. Tricky always has, hasn't it? Being number number one in India. Yeah, I've I've not heard. Does India have a national football team, soccer team? I think India versus England in cricket is is always a good match. I'm I'm a rugby league supporter, so I don't know if you know anything about rugby. In your country, rugby league. I'm a believe it or not. I'm a Leeds Rhino supporter. I've been following. I followed Leeds ever since I was a schoolboy. Oh, you have a team, very good team, right? So I guess there's like an a Asia Cup where India will play in that. Is that is that right? Are there any Indian players? Playing for good teams overseas, then. Who's the biggest? Who would you say is the biggest name in Indian football? Ah, uh, biggest name in football, Ronaldo. Yeah, I just wondered if there was somebody, you know, who, who was a massive name in India who sort of young boys aspired to be like, you know, an Indian footballer. We've never seen India in a World Cup, but, you know, Australia uh, are getting to be quite a strong team now and, and countries that never really used to be thought of as uh, as good teams. They're, they're all making it through to the World Cup now, so there's no reason why in a few years India couldn't appear in a World Cup as well. And India even host a World Cup. I mean, that's something that's possible, isn't it? They've got got the big stadiums. Anyway, uh, I've been on this chat. It was a bit, a bit of a stud start. I don't know what happened. I'll have to get my son to, to, to have a look at what, what I was doing wrong. But hopefully a few few of you will be able to, you know, watch it after, after the finish. Um, so once again... Thank you, thank you ever so much, everybody who watches my videos and 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 who has subscribed. I can't thank you enough, and it, and it really does make me day. If I if I get up on a morning and I see the subscriber numbers uh, has moved on one, then that's my day made. Um, yeah, Abdul. Just before we finish, uh, uh, Abdul's just asking, will you return to India, sir? Well, I think there's a good chance. We might do, Abdul. Uh, we'll, we'll just have to see. It's a bit tricky because my wife is uh, still works. I'm retired, so it's, it's her getting the time off work. Uh, but, yeah, we, we do hope to get back to India as well and see some of the places we didn't get to see this time. 
Um, so anyway, I'll finish now. Um, pineapple juice. <laughs> and go, go get some pineapple juice. Very beautiful wife, sir. Thank you. I should be pleased. <laughs> should be pleased to hear that. All right, then. Well, thanks very much for watching. And hopefully, you know, I can knock this off now with messing about too much. So uh, maybe, you know, if you want to see another live stream, you'll have to let me know in, in comments. Okay, then. Bye. Thanks ever so much for watching. Oh, still here. Yeah. All right, then. <laughs> uh, see you. End of the stream. Bye.